Hi, and welcome to our Excel tutorial on sorting lists of information. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use both the Quick Sort tool and the Regular Sort tool in Microsoft Excel. So you can see here we have a list of information in Excel. And we have multiple columns and obviously multiple rows. Now the first thing that you're going to want to remember when you're setting up a list of information is that you can't have any blank columns or rows inside of your list. You can have blank cells, just no blank columns or rows. So for example, if I was to delete this information here, I would still be able to sort fine. It's just you just don't want an entirely blank row or column, and you'll see why in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and undo that change, and you'll see I've restored my values there. Now you can get to the sorting tools by either coming over here to the editing panel and clicking sort and filter when you're on the home tab, or you can come to the data tab and use the sort and filter section here. Either way, they do the exact same thing. Most people tend to go to the data tab because you have other list management tools here, but whichever works the best for you. Now, again, you have two different sorting tools inside of Microsoft Excel. You have the quick sort tools here, which have the A to Z and Z to A buttons on them, and then you have the regular sort tool here. The A to Z and Z to A tools are the quick sort tools, and they'll only let you sort by one column at a time. For example, right now this list is sorted in ascending order by employee ID. Let's say I wanted to sort it in descending order by salary. I can just simply click on the salary field, which in this case is G5, and then I can click the sort descending or sort Z to A button. When I do that, the list has now been resorted by the salary. Now when I did that, you should have noticed that Excel sort of highlighted the whole list. Watch again as I resort the list in ascending order by employee ID again. I'll click on employee ID, and again when I click the A to Z button, the sort A to Z button, which is sort ascending, notice how it selects the list here. And it happened really, really fast, but basically what Excel did was it went over until it found a blank column and then down until it found a blank row. And it stopped sorting at that point. So for example, if I was to have a blank row, I'm going to go ahead and insert a new blank row here, you're going to see that it's cut off between 68 and 75. Now if I come over here to salary and click the sort ascending button, you're going to see that it left these in place. It just went down until it found a blank row. So make sure you don't have any blank rows or any blank columns in your list before you start sorting. And I'm just going to undo that by using the undo button here in my quick launch area. So I ended the sort, and now I'm going to undo that insertion. Usually when you're um, sorting, if you have a blank row, it's not going to cause you too much trouble. But if you had a blank column, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and insert a blank column here. And then I was to try and do a quick sort by a field. You're going to see it would mix up the values. It left these columns over here alone, and it resorted these columns over here. So it's especially dangerous to have a blank column. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and undo both of those, and you'll see my list is back to normal. So you have your quick sorts here. Now the limitation of the quick sort is that you can only sort by one field at a time. If you want to sort by multiple fields, that's when you're going to want to use the regular sort. Now I'm going to click back here in the first row of my list. Now the first row in your list should be a header row. And a header row is simply a row that has the names of the columns. Or actually when we're talking about a list of information, the columns are actually called fields. So this is the position field, the department field, the division field. But your first row should have your field names inside of it. Your first row should also be formatted a little bit differently than the rest of the rows in your list. And you can see in this case, I've made the font bold, changed the font color, and changed the background color. And that way Excel can look and see just by the different formatting that you do have a header row. So I'm going to click anywhere in my header row here. I usually use the upper left-hand corner. And then I'm going to click the Sort button right here. When I do that, you're going to see it again selected the entire list, 
without the header column, header row, because I don't want to sort those in. And it brought up a dialog box that's going to allow me to add as many sort levels as I want. And this is a big improvement over Excel 2003 and earlier that was available in 2007 and 2010. So I'm going to go ahead now and first sort by department, and then I'm going to add a level, and then I'm going to sort by position. And finally, I'm going to add a third level and sort by last name. So I'm going to group first by department, then by position, then by last name. And you can see the order is ascending A to Z here. I'll go ahead and click OK, and you're going to see everybody in the same department was grouped together. If I scroll down there, there's all the accounting people, followed by the admin people. And then within this group, we had a second level group by position. So there are all the accountants, all the accounting assistants. And then finally, we sorted by last name. And you'll see that this list is sorted within this group in ascending order by last name. So the regular sort tool can be used to group and sort. Now, you can always delete these levels and resort the list just by hitting Delete Level there. And you'll see all the sorting is gone. If I just click OK at this point, it won't do anything because I haven't given it any new instructions. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Sort here again. And let's say this time I want to sort by the department and then by the salary. And I want to do the salary in descending order. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here and select Department. Values A to Z, so that's going to be sorted in an ascending order. Then I'm going to click Add Level and choose Salary. And then instead of smallest to largest, I'm going to do largest to smallest or Z to A. Let's go ahead and click OK here. And you'll see that everybody in the same department is grouped together. And then we're sorted in descending order by their salary. So that's really quickly how you use the Sort tool inside of Microsoft um, Excel. In our next video, we'll talk about the filter tool.